guys, this is Shanna here at Humboldt Redwood State Park. Welcome to today's Facebook Live. It will be part of a one, two, three part series on local history. Did you know that the adoption of the 19th Amendment of the United States Constitution mm -hmm. was certified on August 26, 1920? That makes today the 100th anniversary. I am here at the California Federation of Women's Club Hearthstone at Humboldt Redwood State Park to honor this occasion and share some her story with you. Now, with election time approaching, I think it is so important to me personally to take the time to think about the fact that I have the right to vote and to be grateful for that. The 19th Amendment is actually pretty short. It read, quote, the rights of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex, end quote. That's it. Well, this amendment did give women the legal right to vote. The suffragette movement was also about women's equality and our role in society. Today, I want to share with you about Julia Morgan and how she redefined women's role in society. Now, Julia Morgan lived from 1872 until 1957, and she studied engineering at UC Berkeley because there was no architectural program at UC Berkeley yet. You know, when she graduated, she got a lot of encouragement and had a lot of respect from her teachers. They actually encouraged her to apply to the prestigious National Women's College in Paris. And she had to learn French in order to apply and take a very hard exam. She was actually the first woman ever accepted to that program. Now, while in college, she learned how to use reinforced concrete. And this might not seem that very important to you guys, but we're here in California where it's earthquake country and our modern building codes require reinforced concrete. Now, after graduation in Paris, Julia Morgan returned to California to work and actually became the first woman architect licensed here in California. Now, you guys remember the San Francisco earthquake in 1906 when the whole state was rocking and rolling? Most buildings in San Francisco fell to the ground, totally leveled. But the ones that Julia Morgan built did not fall. They stayed standing and were a testament to the beautiful, enduring quality of her work. And that, of course, brought her a lot of fame and respect. In her lifetime, she designed seven hundred buildings and many of her buildings were designed to serve women she also designed part of Hearst Castle that's out another state park in California now Julia Morgan was also the first woman to receive the American Institute of Architects gold medal she did so posthumously in 20 that's a lot of firsts for one woman now as I said, I'm here, as we call it affectionately, and this hearthstone right here behind me, this amazing hearthstone is built in the arts and crafts style of architecture. It originally had whole round timber that supported it and really nice joinery. And it was built using native stone that was hand hewn by the architects, by the builders who worked with Julia Morgan. This wonderful, and beautiful yet humble monument that's a simple four-sided fireplace designed by Julia Morgan in 1932. It's an amazing example of early crowdfunding because you see 65,000 women worked for years to raise the $45,000 to protect Women's Federation Grove and they hired Julia first California architect to build this central gathering place here. Now this hearthstone to many women, but to me personally, it's a reminder that a woman's place is not only by the hearth, but also in the forest. Now I want to remind you guys, oh sorry, and this grove is also special 
because I had both my blessing way and my baby shower for my firstborn here.